How's it going y'all? Aaron Smith here, about to do a bicycle ride with my brother. So I'm going to show you my setup. Today I'm on my hybrid bike. The, the mountain bike is in the shop getting fixed. This hybrid is a, a, a faster bike, but I've got to stay on the road and, you know, not get on the gravel roads where it's too bumpy. So my it's been 10 weeks today since I broke my, or since somebody ran me off the road on a gravel ride and broke my ankle and leg. So it's healing up great, feeling a little better every day. Still hurts, but um, artificial leg is working great. And so we're going to take off and ride around the neighborhood. We're going to stay in town on these streets, try to avoid traffic and not, we're not going to go out in the country. Okay. So let me get this helmet put on. <clears throat> and we're off. All right, Ben, where do you want to go? Well, maybe we could go north through some of these streets and then work our way over to that old water trail. All right. We'll turn right, go to the end of the Commerce Street, and then we'll turn left. Watch out for traffic. Always look both ways. You've got some good beefy tires on that bike. I guess they're 2.25 inch. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. You just decided you want to put a bigger tire on the. No, I've gone through all kinds of tires. Okay. You just happened to buy one tire and. It was bigger than the other one. Well, it's hard to find two. Maximum size two, standard two, 2.125. Yeah. I got a tire from 2.125. Okay. All right, we can cross here. So I found yeah. some smaller tires. Yeah. See, so your tires aren't any wider than mine. They're just 26 inch tires. I've got 29 inch tires, so it makes it, well, I'm talking about my other bike, not this, but this bike, yeah, it's real small tires. But yeah, 2.25 inches as small as I would. <laughs> Here's a little dog. <laughs> I know. So, you could just turn left here. Uh, yeah. Really? The R so you had a massive just for the people watching this video, you had a massive motorcycle accident where you shattered both tibia plateaus. Yeah. Shattered the knees. Last November, so it was almost a year ago that that happened. Yeah. My left knee took most of the impact. Yeah, yeah. So your left knee took most of the impact and now you're feeling arthritis coming on. Just last night. Yeah. Let's turn. Yeah. Stiff and kind of 
grindy, but not me. Last night. And they turned right ass today. I went ahead and took some. Let's turn right. I wonder if you did anything specifically to irritate it or if it just. I don't know because I worked. Pain just showed it. Yeah. Luckily, when I'm on a bike, it's too far. Good. I'll turn left here. When was the last time you rode a bike? Yeah. Yeah. We got any cars coming? No, let's cross. Yeah, I mean, the bike, you 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 really shouldn't pound on those knees running, but the bike is about as easy to use. I think it's about as easy as you can go on them and get some exercise. Let's go left. So you've got the stationary and recumbent bike at home, right? Yeah. So you can you can use those. Yeah, I want to get yeah, that better. I definitely use that. Yeah. You know, I have to use it with resistance, you know, going forward like cardio exercise in a long time. You can yeah. just use it for range of motion, but yeah. the other day we had some terrible weather. I plug it in and did 30 and 45 minute sessions. Huh. Yeah, I don't have a stationary or recumbent bike, so if I want to ride, I just got to get out in the weather, which is a great excuse to get outside. Like, well, I won't be able to do anything if I don't just get out there in the weather. But, you know, it would be nice and less risky to just sit on a recumbent and get that exercise. Put a fan in front of you. And you don't have to. I'd rather, you know, I end up not riding a lot of times when it's raining because I don't want to get my bike rusty and the bearings, I don't want to wash the grease out of them and stuff like that. I didn't start my straw, but did you start yours? Yeah, I did. I believe I did. Let me see. I hope I did. Yeah, we've gone 1.08 miles so far. We're going through this parking lot. This hill here, little hill. I'll turn right here. So I went to the bike shop today and they said, you know, they sell mainly Trek bikes. They said they still can't get bikes for people. Like if people are ordering a bike there, they just don't have the bikes. They think it'll be a year before they can really 
just be able to keep up with demand. Wow. Yeah. Yes, the manufacturer is slow because of some coding protocols. And this everybody. Yeah, and I don't know, they may be. It's, it's that and there's more demand because everybody has to social distance because of COVID. So, and then people, people are like, well, I feel safer on my bike than I do in a gym where people are infected with COVID or they may not even open the gym. So we're gonna go straight. We gotta watch both ways, but we're gonna climb this little hill. Hmm, I gotta be careful. Oh man, <laughs> my chain skipped. Now I'm going in a headwind. I used to really promote cycling and tell all my friends, yeah, get a bike, come ride with me. Now I'm like, I just keep my mouth shut because I know that we're not gonna be able to get a bike probably. For me, the purpose of riding a bike is exercise. And the e-bike, it's just gonna take off that slack that, it's gonna make it too easy. I can already go a long way, plenty fast enough without any electric assistance. So I'm getting the full benefits of that. And there's a lot of races you can't do like the, the Dirty Cans, the 200 race that I'm signed up for, they don't allow people to come out there on e-bikes. They want them to like do it for real. Yeah. I just wanted it so I could ride the 25 miles from my house to, to here. Yeah. And not be it. Let's turn right. Yeah. I don't know if these people... And then I realized, well, this is more miles and higher speed than you can have an accident. Yeah, yeah. You, you've got that power that you on your I guess on your handle and you you accidentally hit that throttle and you'll use power when you you don't want to your brain you know has control over your body and but it, you may not have control over that finger when it accidentally hits the throttle I don't know I just I've never ridden an e-bike I may like it just fine but I really like this and I get a great feeling of accomplishment out of it. Let's turn right and then go straight. and cross Culberson and just go straight get onto that little gravel road I think we're clear but I can't tell for sure yeah we're clear so let's just get on across There's a few busy streets like this that we gotta contend with but they're not too busy my little skinny tires you gotta watch the potholes watch for the potholes you got a blind corner right here to your left so watch for that. Okay. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Are they talking to you or me? He said, hey buddy. <laughs> hey buddy. Yeah, well, I didn't recognize him.
Turn right. Turn right. Turn left. I don't want to cross California. It's too busy right now. I mean, we can do this loop twice and that'll be 10 miles. Then we can stay within this quadrant of the city. Turn right here. Turn right. Boy, the wind is sure gusting. Now we're clear to cross over. This is about as rough a patch as I'll experience on this hybrid. But it's not too bad. Just kind of got to slow down a little bit. Turn left. And then we're gonna turn right here onto this, this uh, right here.
Is the, I don't know if the boys club is open these days. All right, so we're gonna go across. We're clear. We go across the railroad. Now watch the blind corner here. Clear. How is your knee feeling? Fine. Good. Before we get to the creek, we're going to turn left. straight but watch watch this intersection all right we're gonna turn left here this check out this German Shepherd at this uh, this house here it's a good-looking male German Shepherd in my opinion Good boy. I just don't know if his hips are healthy and how healthy he is, but he seems pretty healthy. Every time I ride by, he usually gets up and runs around. If he's an old dog, that's a good thing. It means he's made it that far, that healthy. Yeah, it is. I really would like this bridge to be back. I don't know why they took it down. Oh no, <laughs> I gotta get over here. Oh yeah. Yep. How are y'all doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, it was a bad idea. It really was. It forces everybody out onto the busy roads. Of course, you know, it cuts off these neighborhoods. And makes them quieter. It's better for us. All right, we better get across this train track. before the train comes or we're going to be stuck
Yeah, turn right. Right, yeah. Normally I turn off to the right uh, past this old Capaco building, but it's a gravel road and this this bike can't handle that. So we're just gonna go up hate and uh, go across to the other part of Hate Street and get back on Commerce and see if we can do the same loop again or similar loop. Yeah. So you like that there's not as many trains in the switching yet. Now this is a blind corner going uphill, busy. Don't run into me. Okay, we're good. So we've gone almost four miles. Yeah, but these city streets will keep you on your toes more than the gravel for sure. Just because of all the traffic. Oh yeah. It works real well. Good. Pretty durable too. Flat is a little more abusive. Okay. Putting in the back of my truck and getting hit. Yeah, yeah. I see some people with them on their helmets. Yeah, that actually would probably be more functional. Yeah. Oh no. And cars coming. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I get a crick in my neck and it's just real uncomfortable looking back over my shoulder. Good puppy. Good puppy. <laughs> they probably don't like us saying good, they would rather say no. No, daddy. <laughs> But I think it's good when it's not a big freaking Great Dane or German Shepherd or something. Big Mastiff, Greyhound Mastiff cross.
Oh, whatever. Could. Maybe we'll do that on the second, the third loop. I don't know. Right now, we're just going to turn left and get onto that and then turn right on the next street. Oh, got a car here. Clear to cross. We're going to turn right. We're going to do 10 miles unless you want to cut it short. And on the left, once we get, we're going to make that same basic loop that we just did. Actually, I'm going to turn right here. And then, uh, then we'll do Witherspoon on the, we'll turn on Witherspoon on the, net, the last one. I suppose. Turn left here. Turn left. Oh, car coming. Well, now he's going to create a headache by stopping here. Ugh. Now we got a car of a horse into the pothole. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, get over here far to the left. Clear. Let's go. Turn right. these crosswinds so you take your hands off the handlebars it can slam you down yeah
a car coming. Stank. There was a bad odor coming from it. It's the, I guess, I guess those are illegal to use on the street. That's yeah, why. That's not yeah. 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 If we can get across here. Then we'll climb. Gotta slow down for this bumpiness. That's the steepest little hill on this whole route. How are y'all doing? Good, thanks. Yeah, I think a Brooks Flyer saddle would be good on this bike too. I just don't know how it would handle my weight. It's just one standard saddle with two springs on the back and I'm not sure if there's an optimum weight for that. If my weight is that optimum weight, I don't know. Thank you. 
can make it across. It looks fairly clear to me. Clear enough. Now remember that blind corner. I could come flying. We're gonna go straight here and then turn up at the next street. Turn right. Yeah. Turn left again. Knees feeling okay? Your knees feeling okay? Turn right. The butt is still a limiting factor on riding. The butt, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't have any padded kind of shorts or anything. Yeah. Well, it's it's tough. You know, I did 25 miles yesterday on the hard rocks. And now it's my butt's hurting too, especially with these potholes and the skinny high pressure tires. I think I do need to get some springs under these seat, this seat, you know, to really do the ultra long distance stuff. It's also tough for you that you don't stand up front. Yeah, I'm more planted on the seat than. I'm just gonna go across to that gravel road again. It's just that I try to swing out here so I can see the traffic and then I look around at circles. If... Yeah, I know, but that's that's the end goal. I just like to loop out here so I can see what's coming both ways before I make an attempt. See, there's nothing coming from the left, the right or the left, we're clear. So I can just mosey on out here. Pretty kitty, calico cat.
we'll do the same thing again. Just this, you got two blind corners, so you can't really watch it. You just jumped up that curve, didn't you? Yeah. That's good. Let's not cross the tracks this time. Let's not cross the tracks. There's a ramp over here. I don't know if there's a ramp over here. So I may have to. Yeah, there is a ramp. There is a ramp. There is a ramp. It's just blind. Oh, blind corner, blind corner. Check this parking lot out. See what we. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've ridden through here. There used to be an alley right back here that you could go. Go on out next to that white little house, but it's not there anymore. I guess somebody lives in there. Yeah, somebody's made that into their house. Did you go to preschool there? Nope. I did not. I guess we can go across the tracks. I'll turn to the right. It's just a windy day, isn't it?
So we got two blind corners here. Got a car coming here. left yeah Going straight. Then we'll turn right up at the front of the church.
kiddo here. Turn left across Dixon Street right here. It's probably a safer place to cross. Clear to the left. Clear to the right. Okay, be real careful not to hit your handlebars going through this narrow, you can go through this narrow sidewalk. There's a fence and brick wall on either side. All right. Just gotta go slow and try not to bump your hand, the end of your handlebar because then you'll go down if you do. There's a big turd right at the end of the sidewalk. <laughs> Righty. So now we'll go down to the end and then turn back on Witherspoon. Gone over just over eight miles. So we may, yeah, we'll, we'll get that 10 miles in. Good weather for it, other than it's just a little windy. It's not too cold, just right temperature. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I bet she make pretty good string out of that. She loves that stuff. She made a hammer with a rock and a stick. String, boy, she's proud of that. It's a really good hammer. String is probably would be better if she's rawhide or something because I think it's cotton string, but it holds that rock in there really well. And it's a hammer, you could knock somebody over the head and kill them with that thing. Yeah, we got a car behind us. I'm gonna fall behind you. He has a what? And his third vertebrae? Oh, how'd he do that? Well, he was riding his four wheeler. Yeah. His dog for a run in the back pasture behind the house. Yeah. And then he kind of lost the story, so he had, yeah. he had the hemorrhoid that was flaring up. So riding that four wheeler was bothering, so he's kind of standing up on the seat. Yeah. And then his dog dodged in front of him. Yeah. Oh no. And uh thought he was just sore, you know, didn't go to the doctor, he was walking around and everything, but yeah. the pain persisted until he got an X-ray. 
So he's huh. He's got to be. I mean, it's just fractures, no displacement. So he got to be non-weight or? Yeah, he's just got to take it easy, no bending, squatting, yeah. lifting for six weeks at least. Yeah. At least. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to hear that. Lee, I'm glad he didn't break his neck though, because that could have happened too. I bet he didn't have a helmet on. <laughs> or maybe he did, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What I found is good exercise for my dog is to tie that leash to the wheelchair and get in that wheelchair and just be like yeah giddy up doggy and just let her pull me around town she gets a great workout doing that let's turn left here Making it hard to ride the bike? Well, this kneecap on this left knee, like if it moved over just a slight, a little bit to the left, yeah. to the right, it would crack a lot better. You mean uh, like if you move your knee or like if it was broken and reset? The so blade like broken and remodeled itself and oh. cracked. The, the so it healed to where it's not tracking right? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so it's drying. Man, I hate that. Apparently the back of the kneecap is all spurs on it too. Oh no. So, but if I can do stuff to strengthen the knee, I'll improve the situation. What do they say will improve it? Well, strengthen. the physical therapist, generally they don't recommend doing uh, leg extension. Yeah. Knee. Yeah, I don't do those either. With my good, I think, yeah, I got some. Yeah. Well, you can maybe focus on your foot position with the bike while you're riding the bike, and then that might help. Because I've noticed, like, if I ride a really long way and my foot's not positioned just right, it hurts my knee. But then, if I put my foot in the right position, then I'm perfectly fine to go. 200 miles yeah. knees just fine but that foot's placed wrong and the knee doesn't track right and then it swells it hurts we've gone 9.1 miles so far Turn to the left.
And you just go around this park and then get back over to Commerce Street. Clear. I think we'll turn to the right here. Clear to the left. Yep, we've gone 10 miles. Good job. <laughs>